Michaela Vernava alongside Ricky Doyle. And since we are heading into wild card weekend, it's time for some NFL playoff predictions. Now the nine and seven Houston Texans are hosting the 11 and five Kansas City Chiefs at NRG Stadium. And Ricky, I don't think we're going to be seeing much elite quarterbacking in this one, so it'll probably come down to a duel of the defenses. So my question for you is who will make a bigger impact on this game for their respective teams? Linebacker Justin Houston for the Chiefs or Texans defensive end J.J. Watt? I feel like the obvious answer is to say J.J. Watt just because, you know, he's on a different planet each week. But I'm going to err on the side of Justin Houston and mostly just because of the fact that just the impact they'll have on the overall uh, pass rush of the Chiefs. I feel like Houston losing Dwayne Brown, their left tackle, that's going to be big in this game. Uh, Tom Bali came back in week 17 for the Chiefs, so I think that they're going to be able to generate enough pressure on the Texans to cause some problems for Brian Hoyer, who has been pretty good. He hasn't turned the ball over a lot this year, but still just there are some questions about that Texans offense. Well, a marquee matchup for really the entire weekend is wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins going up against rookie cornerback Marcus Peters. Who do you think comes out on top in that one? This is kind of a similar situation to that Watt-Houston comparison is the obvious answer is to say Hopkins because of what he's done uh, just throughout the course of the season. But I really like Marcus Peters. He's turned into a ball hawk in his rookie season, uh, tied to the league lead with nine interceptions. I think that while he might not shut down Hopkins, I think he'll do enough to minimize Hopkins' impact and thus that'll make the uh, Texans offense, like I said, they got some issues. It's going to make it harder for Hoya to move the ball downfield. All right, well, at the end of the day, the Houston Texans, 9-7, and seven, let's be honest, really only here because the AFC South was pretty terrible. <laughs> to say the least. To say the least. The Kansas City Chiefs, on the other hand, on a 10-game win streak, at the end of the day, who wins this one? I like the Chiefs. Uh, you know, I, sometimes I get a little, I go into these games and, you know, err on the side of the home team, but I just think the Chiefs too hot right now. I do have some concerns about their ability to close out games. They've been a much better team in the first half than the second half of games. So that could be an issue at some point down the road in the playoffs. But as far as this week's concerned, I think they get enough firepower to get it done in Houston. All right. Thanks, Ricky. Make sure to keep it on Nesson.com for all your NFL news throughout the playoffs.